I'm on staff with Callaway and they sent me the Maverick head last week. All right, the Callaway Maverick driver, the 2020 version, just arrived. Awesome black packaging. What a treat from Callaway. Strong relationship with our PGA and LPGA staff professionals is central to our long-term strategy and success. We deeply appreciate and value the opportunity to work together, and we are committed to be your most trusted partner. Chip, thank you. Thanks, Callaway. This is awesome. What presentation. Very, very exciting start to the new year. Let's get a good look at it. Whoops, peeled off the face there. Flash face technology, which as we all know, if you hit one last year, that was a huge leap forward in distance gain. They've continued with the jailbreak technology. Incredible revolution in ball speed. I'm a higher spin driver of the golf ball, so I got the Sub-Zero model. And I'm lofting up, trying to get my launch up. I've been working on some things that are kind of flattening out my attack angle. And uh, would like to get the ball to launch a smidge higher, so I went that route. Very cool. And a sweet little... Callaway Professional Staff Ball Marker. Maverick, I'll peel the sticky off of that. I'll mark that when I'm in my uh, playing partner's way. I'm sure they'll appreciate half inch, quarter inch. <laughs> Have to hop over the ball. The Maverick comes with interchangeable weights. And deep down in here, this is pretty nice. Wow. Callaway Professional Staff head cover as well. Classy. Thank you, Callaway. Can't wait to go hit this thing. As soon as I had a break in lessons, I went to the practice range to put the Callaway Epic Flash up against the Callaway Maverick. With both drivers, I used the Tour AD DI 7X from Graphite Design. First up, the 2019 Epic Flash. I've been exercising a lot this year and also working on some things mechanically. When I make a good golf swing, I'm currently at 112 miles an hour of club head speed. This swing was just under 112 miles an hour with a 283 yard carry and a 313 yard total. This drive was just over 112 miles an hour with a 276 yard carry and a 293 yard total. This swing was just under 111 miles an hour and it carried 288 yards traveling a total of 309. This swing was 112 miles an hour, the carry was 279 and the total was 312 yards. In 2019, I fell head over heels in love with the Epic Flash driver. It was far and away the farthest I've ever carried the ball, started to hit it over 270 yards. As you can see, I passed that number by a little bit with some more speed this year. This swing was 111 miles an hour. It carried 275 yards and won a total of 313 yards. I remember at the end of 2018, I was thinking, no way they can improve on the Callaway Road. But it was easy for me to make the switch to the Epic Flash. And I find myself having similar thoughts. Is it really going to be better this year? I don't think it'll take long to get used to the look of this driver, as it's very similar to the Flash with a little bit more of a rogue-like shape. Uh, it's got some orange accents rather than green.
As for the flash face, it is designed by artificial intelligence once again. It went through three million iterations to come up with this face, which is more forgiving. Uh, they had to come out with a stronger titanium this year. And the rest of the head is also designed by artificial intelligence, which will mute the sound a bit from the flash last year and make it feel a little bit softer. The jailbreak technology that Callaway introduced in 2017 is back for the fourth consecutive driver and I don't see this technology going anywhere anytime soon because it does such a phenomenal thing in keeping the energy transferring into the golf ball rather than it being lost through the expansion of the sole and the crown of the driver. I set my driver to plus one degree of loft, bringing it to 11.5 degrees of loft in total, and I left it at neutral in terms of any draw or fade bias. This swing was 111 miles an hour. The ball carried 287 yards in the air and went a total of 313 yards. This swing was 111 miles an hour. It carried 289 yards and went a total of 310 yards. This swing was only 109 miles an hour, but it still carried 282 yards and went a total of 310 yards. That was a yards. good solid swing, not a fast swing. This swing was only 110 miles an hour, and it still carried 285 yards and went a total of 308 yards. This swing was 111 miles an hour and it carried 290 yards and went a total of 317 yards. This is so fun. This last swing was 111 miles an hour and it carried 288 yards and went a total of 307 yards. I made five swings with each driver off camera just to create this multi group report, and as you can see, I averaged 110.7 miles an hour in club head speed with the Maverick driver, and I averaged 111.8 miles per hour in club head speed with the Callaway Epic Flash. Despite that, I still carried on average two yards farther with the Maverick. The total distance was almost an exact tie at 304 yards. Callaway promises for the Maverick to be more forgiving downrange by 13% as compared to the Epic Flash. You'll see my dispersion with the Epic Flash in yellow and my dispersion with the Callaway Maverick in white. Simply put, if you miss hit the ball on other parts of the club face other than the sweet spot, you will see that your spin and your launch angle are not affected as drastically. Here are the five shots that I hit using the Callaway Epic Flash driver using a hard range ball. The carry ranged from 276 yards all the way up to 288 yards. Those are carry distances that I'm thrilled with. These are the five shots that I hit with the Callaway Maverick driver. And removing shot number two, which brings the average down, all of my shots were 285 yards and up. This really seems like I can hit this driver farther in the air, which is of huge importance to me.
All right, 13 green. I've never hit it over the green on 13. I've hit a couple that are starting to make it clear. I think this one's outperforming my epic. After a quick few days of testing, I am sold. This driver is going in my bag. Not only does it feel solid off the face, but it sounds much improved from last year. I am really, really excited for the 2020 season. My advice to you is to get your hands on one of these and try it with a club fitter as soon as possible. The performance will speak for itself. If you already have an Epic Flash, I would still encourage you to go see if it performs that much better for you. I think you guys are going to like this driver. Alright, we're pulling up on number four. Almost on the upslope. I've hit some decent drives here, but uh, that's a little beyond my stock range. 328. The Callaway Maverick is going to retail for $499, down from the Epic Flash's price point of $529. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like down below. I appreciate you taking the time to watch. I realize there's a lot of good content out there, and I thank you for watching mine. Please subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Leave me a note in the comments below and let me know what type of driver you're currently playing and if this driver improved your performance. Thank you.